Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about my top 10 favorite neutral eyeshadow palettes. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, so I've definitely done a video like this before. However, as new palettes consistently come out, there are some that just sneak into my heart as some of my very favorite neutral palettes. And some of these are a little bit more on the cool side, some are a little bit more pink leaning, but they're all beautiful, beautiful everyday eyeshadow palettes. Coming in at number 10, I have the Naked Reloaded palette. So this one, I feel like, I don't know, I, I don't know if this one ever really got enough attention. I know it's been around for quite a while at this point, but I just think it's gorgeous. I love how you can have all of these brown tones. I love that it leans a little bit more cool. I love that this shade is a bit more of a copper, so you can bring it a little more pinky if you want to, but this is such a beautiful everyday palette. And I really also just really enjoy the packaging with that soft cushiony kind of feel. For some reason, I really enjoy that. Coming at number nine is from Patrick Ta, and this is the Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. So I have raved on and on and on about the new Rose Palette, but there's no denying this one is a beautiful, beautiful neutral palette. I think the formula is gorgeous. I do think some of the shimmers are a little chunkier than I would personally like, but these mattes, this is the most perfect brown gradient I have ever seen. This is like the brown gradient of my dreams. I love this. I think it's so, so, so beautiful. So of course I could not do this video without mentioning this one. I do think it's very pricey. I do think if you can get it on sale, you should, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Coming in at number eight is a palette that has been around for quite some time at this point, and this is the ABH Soft Glam Palette. So I love this one still. You can probably tell this one is quite well loved, and that is just because she is so easy to use. You get a lot of these neutral browns, these light champagne, almost golden shimmers. You get some pinkier options, a deep burgundy. I'm really excited about this one. Every fall I get really excited about this one. I just think it's so, so, so perfect. Again, you get a really beautiful brown gradient right here and you just get the perfect balance of shimmers and mattes. I love this one. And I feel like this palette will forever just be a classic. So this one definitely, definitely is such a great neutral option. Coming in at number seven is one that is actually a bit more cool tone, but I think is incredible for, for every day. And that is the ColourPop That's Taupe palette. So I feel like the quality of this one is high-end quality at a very affordable price point. I just think this is so beautiful, so easy to use, so easy to wear. I love the cooler browns in here. I think it's so beautiful and I love the way the shimmers play into this one as well. The shimmers are stunning. So I really, really love this one and of course it's super affordable. I do have a look with this one up over on my Instagram as well. All right, coming in at number six, we have a Charlotte Tilbury quad. I chose to pull out the Pillow Talk Dreams quad. So this one was released earlier this year and this one is definitely a bit deeper, a bit more pink leaning than the original Pillow Talk. There's just something about this one. I think it looks so beautiful. I love the reflect from the shimmers. I love the mattes. The mattes are so blendable and beautiful, but they have enough pigment to them. I find the original quad really doesn't have much pigment and coming from somebody with fair skin, if I think something isn't showing up very well, it's probably doesn't have a lot of pigment. <laughs> so I just, I really love this one. I love it the very, very most. So I highly recommend this one if you're planning to get one of her quads and you're wondering whether to go with the original or this one, I picked this one. Okay, coming in at number five is from Natasha Denona, and this is the Glam Palette. So this one is a very cool tone, but so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. So easy to wear, especially because she's got like a guide as to where each shade should go. You, of course, don't have to listen to that. You can do your own thing, but I just think it's so pretty. You can stick with all mattes, or you can just go in with a mix of mattes and shimmers, 
This one leans a little bit more pink. This one has a little bit more of a gold to it. But overall, these shades are so perfect for every day if you want them to be. You can take this super glam, but you can also just keep it very, very wearable. So the looks I create with this one never feel too, too loud, if that makes sense. So I really, really like this one. And coming in at number four is the Perfect Neutral Mini, and this is the Mini Nude from Natasha. So this has two mattes, three shimmers, all super beautiful. I love how you have this really light transition. Then you have this darker brown here and then any of these shimmers all over the lid. So beautiful. And it gives you a bit of a range too. So I think that's really, really nice. I love this. The price point is good. I think the price has increased a little bit on these minis recently, but overall this is a really, really beautiful neutral mini palette if you're just looking for something small but everyday but where you can also change up the looks just a little bit. So I really do recommend this one. Coming at number three is a palette that was pretty new this year and this is from Lunar Beauty and this is the Nude Prism Palette. So this is the first product I have ever tried from Lunar Beauty and this one is beautiful. This is so beautiful. So this one definitely has some very pink options here. On the bottom you have a lot of these browns. These shimmers are so beautiful. They are probably some of the smoothest shimmers I have ever tried. They're they're just not at all chunky and they give the most beautiful sheen to the lid. I love this row so much. I go into the shade Sam quite a bit and Laura. I think they're both very, very beautiful. And the mattes are beautiful. The light ones are very light. They're definitely very lightly pigmented, but the darker shades have a lot more pigment to them. I would just say they're so buildable, so blendable, so easy to work with. I have loved, loved this palette so much since I first tried it out. I can't believe it took me this long to try out the brand. However, this is among the more neutral that he has released. So this is like, if I was an eyeshadow palette, this is what I would look like. And I just absolutely love it. Coming in at number two is another palette that was released earlier this year and this is the NARS Summer Unrated Eyeshadow Palette. So before this one I had not yet tried out NARS eyeshadows so I wasn't 100% sure what to make of this and then I got it and I fell in love. I love this formula. Again it is so buildable and blendable but just so easy to work with and somehow all of the looks come out so beautiful and wearable even when you go into these purples and the pinks and this one somehow the looks are just still so everyday i love them the browns you get a really nice range of neutral brown tones some lighter shimmers some brown shimmers the pinks though are gorgeous i just think this formula completely surprised me i was not expecting to love this one as much as i do but this is a really, really gorgeous palette. And the final palette is one that I've probably talked about way too often, but this is also from Natasha Denona, and that is the Mini Biba palette. So the full-size Biba is a very, very neutral palette. This one definitely leans more peach, but it's absolutely stunning. I love this palette so, so much. I love the way these shades look together. I absolutely, absolutely love this nude rose kind of shimmer. It looks so beautiful on the lid. That is my favorite eyeshadow shade of all time. I love that there is a cream to powder formula in here. Again, I just love the way these shades work together. If I'm ever not sure what I want to do, but I know I want to play with eyeshadow, I go for this one. It's just so easy and wearable and I love this little palette so much. But that is it for me today. Let me know down below what your favorite neutrals are. I would love to hear from you. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. And that is it for me today. Thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!